Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good okay. evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. We are going to wait just a couple of minutes to wait for the rest of the class to join. Good night, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. And you? Surviving here. <laughs> it's going to be a good night, don't worry. Yeah, of course, with your company, of course, it's going to be. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. Today is Thursday, and we are going to continue learning English and practice. And remember that whenever you have the chance, uh, please practice, please speak. So it doesn't matter about the topic or anything that you want to say. So uh, we're gonna check about the, uh, the platform for first of all. So this is the class we are doing right now. And remember that below is going to be the, the question for today. And also remember that tonight you need to do 1.7 homework. So uh, this is going to be very, very easy. I mean, it's going to be so, so easy. Okay. Um, okay, I have a question for you. Any, everybody has access to the platform, right? Nobody has any problem. No problem at all. No problem. Good, perfect, perfect. Okay, uh, yesterday we were talking about reported speech. So a lot of rules, some things that we were checking into that one, but at the end, I guess it was kind of easy. So uh, we are not going to remember the rules or the grammar or anything like that, but we're going to try to practice before we go to the class of today. So I'm going to say something and you are going to do the indirect speech. You are going to do the reporter speech, okay? Just as yesterday at the end of the class. So I remember that you can say something like the teacher say he or something like that, one, right? So if I say, for example, um, I may go to the cinema tomorrow. How would you transform that? He said that he might go to the cinema tomorrow. Very good, very nice. That is it, very easy, right? If I say, um, let's see, I went to school. How is it going to be that? He said he went to school. Almost. Or went? No went. Gone, but something is missing. He said he, okay. He say he, he, he say he had he had gone very good. He had gone to a school. Yeah, he said he had gone to school. 
Very good. If I say, um, I will study English. How is going to be the report speech there? Uh -huh. How is it going to be that one? Anybody? He say he will study. He will study. Very yeah. good. Nice. If I say um um I had I had been in that place. He said that he has been in that place. Very good. No change, right? Because it's the, the past. Perfect. Okay. So I guess the idea is clear. I sent you today uh, the class of yesterday. Also, I sent you an explanation in Spanish, a link for that one, just in case something was missing in the class. So it's very important that you understand um, the topics so you can reproduce and practice. So. Uh, just in case, I send you today a link for you to, to check into that one. I'm going to check the, the attendance then before we move on. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here, teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present, teacher. Good. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Here, teacher. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening. Present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening. Present. Good evening. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. I'm here, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramirez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Hello, present. Good, hello. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Perfect. So we are going to start with the topic for today. Actually, we're going to move on with the book because we need to move on on that one as well. So here is it. Uh, it says building vocabulary, e-commerce. Remember that you can print the book, you can have it there on digital way. So anything that works for you is fine. And it says building vocabulary, um, match these terms related to e-commerce to their corresponding meanings. Compare answers with a partner. So the first part, it says selection, instant gratification, deals, infinite shelves, brick and mortar store. And then we're going to read the definition so we can match. Let's see. Um, 
Osmin, could you please read the first one? What is this, the virtually? It's okay, teacher. Okay. Let's you. The virtual um, limited extent and range of the pro of products available in a commerce store. Okay, so the virtually unlimited extent and range of products available in e-commerce stores. Okay, what is unlimited? Of course, in English, try to express in English. What is unlimited? Without limits. Without end. yet. <laughs> yeah, without limit, without, without, end. without end. Something that is so big that we don't know where is the end, right? So the virtually unlimited extent on a range of products available in e-commerce stores. So what is that? Number one, two, three, four, five. What do you think? If we are talking uh, unlimited, maybe infinity shelves. Yes, number if, four. Okay, infinite shelves. Yeah, perfect. That would be it. Uh, let's see. Um, Anna Selmi, could you please read the number two, the definition? Yes, teacher. A traditional business that deals with its customer face to face in an office or store. Okay, so a traditional business that deals with its customers face to face in an office or store. What might be that one? What do you think? Number three. Maybe deal. Deal. Deals. Number okay. three. Good mm -hmm. deals. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Deals. It can be that one. So the next one, uh, Rose, could you please read uh, the, the next one? Okay. Having a wide range of products from which customers can choose. Very good. Having a wide range. What is a wide range? Extensive. Extensive, like many kinds, many types of product services for you to, to do that one. Having a range, a wide range of products from which customers can choose. What will be that one? Election. Okay, selection, nice, very good. Uh, let's see, the next one is going to be for Nelson. Okay, number four. Yeah, please. Desires to experience fulfillment without delay. Okay, the desire to experience fulfillment without delay. What might be that one? Probably we need to understand. Number two, Number two actually that is it, instant gratification. So in, the, in this one, the desire to experience fulfillment, what is fulfillment? Do you remember? The complete process of production? Mm, well, yeah, it might be in some ways that, that aspect, yeah. In this case, it's a little bit more whenever you want to purchase something and you want to feel happy, feel that you made something. Teacher, mm -hmm. and fulfillment is like uh, compliance. It's like or compliance I... to complete oh. something, yeah, very good. And of course, do you remember what is delay? What is delay? Late. Late, okay. When it takes too much time, something, right? For you to do or get something. Nice. The last one is going to be for Susanna. The last one? When yeah, a website offers products for sale. When a website offers products for sale, what will be that one? Well, I think number five, brick and mortar store. Brick and mortar store, okay, very good. So let's move on with this one. 
it says, read and label the statements below. What are they describing? Advantages or disadvantages of e-commerce? Write A for advantages and D for disadvantages. So let's read and then we're going to choose if this is an advantage or a disadvantage. Uh, Jasmine, could you please read the number one? More words to customer, there are no graphic limitations. Okay, so more reach to customers and there are no geographic limitations. Is that an advantage or a disadvantage, everybody? Advantage. advantage. Yeah, definitely that is an advantage. Nice. Ada Patricia, could you please read number two? Anyone good or bad can easily start a business. Very good. Anyone, good or bad, can easily start a business. What will be that, an advantage or disadvantage? An advantage? Yeah, that is an advantage. Uh, easily. Do you remember what is easily? The after the easy. Something that is easy. Uh -huh. Remember that this is an adverb and it's describing can, yes. right? Yeah. Okay, number three is going to be for Walter Morales. In customer loyalty is not always guaranteed. Customer loyalty is not always guaranteed. Loyalty, what is loyalty? Uh, um, well, yeah, actually that is a disadvantage. Uh, but what is the meaning of loyalty? Of course, in English, anybody? When someone just buy in a store for years. Okay. Anybody else was saying something? By number one. Okay. So yeah, loyalty is when the customers, they are with you. Uh, buying right for years and years so that is loyalty so customer loyalty is not always guaranteed so that is a disadvantage definitely well loop in number four oh, we can hear you well loop i don't know Yeah, I guess there are some problems with the microphone or anything. Yeah, we cannot hear anything actually. Okay, don't worry. Uh, let's see, Wilfredo, number four. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Low operational cost and better quality of service. Low operational costs and better quality of service. So is that an advantage or a disadvantage? Uh, it is an advantage. That is an advantage. That is yes, true. Sir. Good. Okay, number five is going to be for Michelle. Okay, easy to start and manage a business. Yeah. Good, easy to start and manage a business. Oh, is that an advantage or a disadvantage? It's an advantage. Definitely is an advantage. Number six is going to be for Pamela. Uh, there are no sales when the website is down. Good, there are no sales when the website is down, definitely. So is that an advantage or disadvantage, everybody? Disadvantage. That is a disadvantage, very good. So yeah, definitely if the website is down, it's not gonna be good. Uh, it says write a 10 line paragraph about the two advantages and two disadvantages of e-commerce. We're not gonna do that. And okay, so 
we will continue. He says, I will be able to exemplify different types of e-business based on the interaction between businesses and consumer. Number one, he says, let's start. How many online businesses operating in your country can you name? Okay, let's do that, everybody. What online businesses do you remember here in El Salvador? Restaurants. Okay, there are many restaurants that they have the menus online and you can order online. Good, any other? Transportation. Transportation, yeah, definitely you can find some transportation online. Any other? The departmental stores. Of course, those are also online right now. Banks. Uh, banks, yeah, you can actually do some procedures on banks online. Any other? The supermarket. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> good. That's a good. Yeah, supermarket, definitely. I mean, you can order from your house right now. So it's going to be very convenient. Okay. The next question says, are there e-commerce businesses doing business only through phone apps? What do you think? This means no. that... Oh, go ahead. No, no. Many, of, many of them are... You can do by computer. Okay, computer, yeah. And actually that is something that they're doing, right? Sometimes, I mean, at the beginning, almost always they start with a website, but then they move on with an application. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, number two says building vocabulary. Put a check next to the words you are familiar with, then match all the words to their corresponding meanings. Compare your answers to a partner. So similar to the other one, uh, I'm going to read the ones uh, with the letters and you are going to read the um, definitions and then we're going to, to check and match. So the first one is platform, M commerce, local e-commerce, auctions and bids. So Zulma, could you please read the first definition? Uh, yes. A platform, a public sale in which goods or property properly are sold to the highest buyer. Very good. So a public sale in which goods or property are sold to the highest buyer or bidder. It can say in the both ways, bid. So a public sale is uh, when any company sell something to the public in general. Do you remember what is to bid, right? What is bid? Offer, like offer, our offer. Huh? Yeah, price. Very good. When you offer, when there is um, an article at sale and a lot of people are offering money, right? One, two, three million dollars for the house. Okay, something like that. So, a public sale in which goods or property are sold to the highest bidder. It's going to be platform, e-commerce, local e-commerce, actions, or bids. Which one is the correct? Auctions. Very good. That is an auction. So when in, uh, all the people are pushing for the for the pricing, right? So let's see. Um, Sandra, Gladys, could you please read? The second one. Electron. Yeah, please. Electronic commerce conducts on mobile phones. Okay, so electronic commerce conducted on mobile phones. So what will be that one? one. Mm. What do you think? That's, uh, that's M commerce. M commerce, definitely. So, imagine everything has a name right now, right? Okay, mm -hmm. Ricardo, could you please read the next one? Okay. Uh, it's, it, it is a software application that's all online business to manage their. Website, sales, 
saying an operation. Very good. So it is a software application that allows online businesses to manage their website, sales and operation. Question, what is allow? Allows. What is that? Permit. Permit, mm -hmm. very good. So, and what will be for this one? What is the answer? Platform. Definitely is a platform. Very good. So a platform is not only a website, a platform is something that you can interact with, right? Let's see, um, Sandra Romero, could you please read the next one? Okay, it is um, out, out, auctions, right? Uh, yes, the definition on that one. Okay, um, it is it is the offering of a price, especially at an, an auction. Could Very you good. explain to me the pronunciation of this word, please? I'm sorry? Could you confirm what is the pronunciation of this word? On which word? Which one? Auction? Uh, auction. Auction, yeah, that is auction. Auction, yeah. Okay. Very good, so it is the offering of a price, especially at an auction. How is it going to be that one? Which is the answer, everybody? Beat. Really? Beat. I... That is beats. Beats. Very good. And uh, the last one is going to be for Wendy Patricia. Hello, Wendy. I guess she has some problems with the connection. Okay, Ophelia, could you please read the last one? Excuse me, teacher. Yeah, the last one, please. Okay. Okay. I, I, I this, <clears throat> I this the offering. Please. If, Especially as an option. No, it's going to be the one below, a kind of e-commerce. The last one. Okay, the Western settings. Oh, okay. Okay, the phone. Uh, teacher, on this uh, is is so what? No, no, a kind of e-commerce. The last one. I can often and cons for for him. I did cosmic geographic look. Location. Okay, a kind of e-commerce focused on the cons consumer's geographical location. So what will be that one? Sería la geográfica de descripción de la compañía, de producto. In English, please. Uh, <laughs> the description is... Uh, a company, uh, a products. Yeah, but the question is which of these, A, B, C, D, or E, is the answer for a kind of e commerce focus on the consumer's geographical location? Uh, sería, uh, C. Very good. That is letter C. Local e commerce. Very good. Nice. We're moving on. So it says, number three, label the descriptions with the correct types of e-commerce. This is something that we know, consumer to consumer, business to business, consumer to business, and business to consumer, which are the, more, the most common. But we checked also that there are many others, right? So we are going to continue reading. The uh, next one is going to be for Adriana. Could you please read number one? Hello, Adriana. Is 
she's at the supermarket right now. Okay. So let's see. It's going to be for. Uh, let me just check. Hold on a second. Um, Mayra, Melanie, could you please read the number one? Yes, teacher. It refers to business that is conducted between companies rather than between a company and individual consumers. Very good, perfect. It refers to business that is conducted between companies mm -hmm. rather than between a company and individual consumers. So which one is that one? Uh -huh. Business to business. Business to business, that is it. Very good, perfect. Okay, uh, number two is going to be for Ana Salme. Transactions conducted directly between a company and consumers who are the end user of its product or service. Very good. So those are transactions conducted directly between a company and consumers who are the end users of its products or services. So what is the answer for this one? Business to consumer. Business to consumer. Very good. Perfect. Number three is for Michelle. Okay. It is a business model that facilitates an environment, usually online, where customers can trade with each other. Very good. It is a business model that facilitates an environment, usually online, where customers can trade with each other. What is the answer for this one? Customer to customers? Customer to customer, definitely like the online, okay, marketplace. And the number four is going to be for Sandra Romero. Hello, Sandra Romero, are you here with us? Not here. Okay. Walter Morales, could you please read number four? Okay. <clears throat> it's when a large number of individuals are making the service or product invaluable for purchases for companies are taking a precisely busy topic of service or product. Okay, so it is when a large number of individuals make their services or products available for purchase for companies seeking precisely these types of services or products. What will be that one? Uh, consumer to business. Consumer to business. Very good. So it's going to be very easy. Okay. Uh, it says group work. Now we're not going to do that. Okay, let's move on. So this is um, a conversation. Uh, I will be able to describe tips to apply when shopping online. So this is the topic for today, actually, the one that we're going to check on the, on the um, presentation. Number one, it says, let's start. How often do you purchase items online, everybody? What do you say? How often do you purchase online? Maybe two weeks in a month. Two weeks in a month. That's good. That is very often. Uh, very nice. Any other? In my case, uh, three months. Uh, two months. Every two or three months. Yes. Okay. Good. Hardly okay. ever, teacher. Hardly ever. Not that common. Yeah. Okay. In my case, once per week. Once per week. Very good. Mm -hmm. So you see that it's very variable, right? That depends on many things. But yeah. why, uh, then the other says, what do you have to be careful about while purchasing online? Why do you need to be careful? The charge of quality the of credit. The charge yeah. of the credit, uh -huh. what else? The quality. The quality of the product sometimes is not good, right? Anybody, any other thing? You have to be, you have to trust in the 
the direction. Yeah, you have to trust in the website, right? Yeah, that, the website, yes. That they are not going to, it's not going to be a fraud. Yes. Very good. So that is the topic for today. Of course, today we're going to speak a lot. I have some readings also in some websites, but we're going to start with this conversation. It says, Lucas is telling Saul about his plan to open an e-store to sell his handicrafts. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. So I'm going to read it. Remember, you are going to check the pronunciation. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend say he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it and there is this new laptop for only 199. I called the store and it is 900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at that web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend say you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This is one, this one doesn't have it. Experts mention on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity theft that David cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Any questions on pronunciation by now? Pronunciation. Um, definitely, I don't know. Okay, that is sure. definitely. 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 Okay, thank Good. you. Good. Any other question, my friends, about pronunciation? I'm sorry? Uh, could you please? Sorry, sorry. Sus suspicious, maybe. Uh, sus suspicious. Suspicious. Suspicious, yeah. Okay. Good. Any other question on pronunciation? The word bad pa luck. Bad luck. Bad luck. Bad luck, yeah. Thank Good. You. Any other question in pronunciation? Symbol. Uh, which one? Symbol. A symbol, yeah. Symbol. Okay. Yeah. Any other question? Can you repeat the quantities, please? Uh, yeah, 199 and 900. No more questions. So let's practice. Very good. Okay, so as usual, uh, one and one, right? Let's Teacher. start with, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Uh, is correct say hurry up? Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Yep. Okay. Good, good. Okay, so Rose and Susan. Okay. Hi, Rose. Hello. Okay, you start? I start. Yeah. Okay. Han, you won't believe this. A friend say he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it. And there is a new laptop for only 199. I call a store and it is 900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the new, the new web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity thief that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Perfect, very good. Now, Ada, Patricia and... Wendy, Patricia, ah, the two parties. Hello. 
Okay, Wendy, you start? Yes. Okay. Um, Hank, you won't believe this. I friend say he bought, bought this excellent deal online. I checked and there is the new laptop for only uh, 199. 199. I call a store in and it is uh, 90. 900. 900. 100. 900 there. I will definitely get, get it online but I will use my debit card. Why second? That's so suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend say you have to make sure that the deceit in is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Expert mentioned it on TV that credit card, card offer protection from identify the that debit card done. So you better use a credit card. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now Lourdes and Walter Mauricio Morales. Okay, who start? Um, you can start. Okay. Ha, um, you won't believe this, uh, friend. Say about this excellent deal on life. I take it, uh, there is a, this new life for, for only 100 very nice. I can a story and it is a uh, my 100. And then it will and definitely and get out life, but and we we'll use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your, your card number in there. Why? And how is that all the offer? And we we'll do it wrong before. A friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Is expert mentioned on the on TV that credit card cards offer protection from identify theft that debit card don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, very good, perfect. Anna, sell me and Wilfredo. Okay. I am Jesse okay. Wilfredo. Are you okay? Yes, yeah. Go ahead. Hank, you won't believe this. I friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I check it and there is new laptop for only $199. I call in the store and it is $900 there. I will definitely get in online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the web page before you enter your car number in there. Why? Hurry up. Oh, their offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you have to make sure that the, that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the um, address bar um, this one doesn't have it spurred mentioned on tv that credit card offered protection from identity 
identity that that debit card don't so you better use a credit card okay very good nice now michelle and carla vasquez Uh, okay. Me, Jesse. Okay. Han, Han, you won't believe this. A friend say that both this excellent deal online. I checked it, and there is this new laptop for only one hundred ninety nine. I call it. I call it a store. It is a nine hundred. There, I will. They finally get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the page, the web page, before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Expert mentioned uh, on TV that credit card offer protection from identity theft that debit card don't. Debit cards don't. So you better use that credit card. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Guadalupe and Osmin. Okay. Okay. Start you, please. Okay. Han, you won't believe this. A friend said they both did excel excellent deal online. I checked it, and there is the this new laptop for only one one hundred ninety nine dollar. I call a a store, and it is. Mm, 900 there i will identify get and only online but i will use the my debit card wait a second uh, that sounds suspicious let me take a good look look at a uh, website for you enter your card number in there why hurry up or the offer will be gone before we know it a friend said you have to make sure that the site is secure you have to look for a small public symbol in the average bar this one doesn't have an expert mention on TV that credit card offer production, excuse me, protection from identity uh, that, that debit card don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Mayra and, uh, let's see, Mayra and Zulma. Okay, I start. Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it and there is this new laptop for only $199. I call a store and it is $900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait, wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at that web page before you enter your card number in there. Why? Hurry up. Or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend said you have to make sure that site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have have it. Spurt mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection from identified de theft that debit cards don't. So you better use a credit card. Okay, very good. So now Pamela and uh, Floor, is possible for you, Floor? <clears throat> Floor. 
Yeah. Okay, I guess Flor is uh, not able to. Ricardo, a Flor? Yes, teacher, yes, teacher. Okay, yes. so Pamela and Flor, good. Okay, Hank, you won't believe this. A friend said he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it and there is, is this new laptop for only 199. I call our store and it is it is uh nine hundred there dollars there. I will definitely get in online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second. That sounds so true. Let me take a good look. Look at web page for you and Okay, I guess she finished. Hello? Yeah, you can continue, Pamela. Okay. Why? Hurry up, or the offer will be on before we know it. And continue with Han. I don't know if. Uh, well, Hola. yeah, Flor, uh, we can hear you. Ricardo is after that one, okay? Flor, continue, please. Okay. A friend say you have to, to make sure that the suite is secure. You have to look up for a small public symbol in the address bar. If one doesn't have happy expert mentioned on TV that credit card offered protection from identify the that debit cards don't so you use a credit card. Very good, perfect. So now it's going to be Ricardo and uh, let me just check. Ricardo and Nelson. Okay. And you won't believe this a friend a friend say he bought the this excellent deal online. I checked it and there is the new laptop for online uh, one hundred and ninety nine. Okay, one hundred and ninety nine. Uh, I kill I store and is is every there there I will definitely get I online but I will use it with David term. Wait a second. That sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look. At the web before you enter the card number in there. Which are goods or they offer will be gone before we know this. A price say you have to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small padlock symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it expert in mention on the TV that credit card offer protection from identity, the debt that debit card done. So you better use a card for a credit card. Very good, nice. So now Jose Osorio and Adriana Stephanie. Hello, Jose, yes. are you? Uh, let's just wait if, to check if Jose is available. Are you available, Jose? My guess is not. Okay, Adriana and Ophelia. Okay, teacher. Okay, me, Jesse. Okay. Hi. okay. Hi, you won't believe this. A friend says he, he bought this excellent deal online. I checked it and there is this new laptop for only 
$199.90. I call it a store and it is $900 there. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. I was a second. I does some suspension. I let me. I taste good. I look as I does well happen. I be for it and you enter your car number in there. Why? Hurry up. Or the offer will be won before we know we know it. Ah, hey, a phrase I say you have a two market shooting. I does the city is shooting. You have a to look good for it's not a pardon a symbol in the Andres Babs. I did wonder. Does not I has experience meeting on TV? I was a credit card offering protein for identifying. I I def I does debit card. I do so a you better use a credit card. Okay, perfect. So now it's just missing. Let's see, Sandra Romero. And I guess everybody else has read. Let me just check. Yeah, I guess everybody has read. Jasmine, could you please help her? Yes. Good, perfect, thank you. Okay, um, Jesse or Hank? Uh, yes. Jesse. Um, Hank, okay. you won't believe this. A friend says both this excellent deal online. I checked it. And there is a new laptop for only 199. I call the store and it is 900, sir. I will definitely get it online, but I will use my debit card. Wait a second, that sounds suspicious. Let me take a good look at the watch page before you enter your card number in there. Why, hurry up, or the offer will be gone before we know it. A friend? said you had to make sure that the site is secure. You have to look up for a small bootleg symbol in the address bar. This one doesn't have it. Experts mentioned on TV that credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards done. So you better use a credit card. Very good, that was nice. So uh, just be careful on pronunciation on some words. This is for everybody, of course. Uh, it's going to be, let's see, about. Okay, about this excellent deal, deal online. Uh, I checked it, checked it, not checked it or, or anything like, checked it. Uh, let's see what else, definitely. Let's see what else, suspicious. Um, hurry up, hurry up. Let's see what else. Uh, that the site is secure, site and secure. Uh, let's see, padlock is fine. Let's see what else. Mentioned, uh, let's see, identity, identity theft. And that's it, okay? So let's be careful on that. Now let's check some vocabulary. It says, hey, you won't believe this. A friend said about this deal online. Uh, do you remember what is a deal? Of course, in English, my friends. What is a deal? It is like an offer. Like an offer, very good, nice. And uh, what is, let me check. What is something suspicious? Dangerous. Dangerous. It it's doesn't, not sure. It's not sure, it's not safe. Okay. Not trust. Not trustable, yeah, very good. So. Hurry up, what is that? That is easy. Okay, when you, yeah, when you're in a rush, when you want to do something fast or quickly, good. Uh, let's see. Uh, size secure, 
look up, let's see, padlock. What is a padlock? The security is the... Like a symbol? Yeah, the padlock is when you want to secure something. So for example, what can I say? Um, I don't know. A padlock is a piece that oh, has... Uh -huh. When you uh -huh. have a, a combined uh -huh. secret, a case. secret key. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes the padlock, I mean, the padlock is something like that that you put for you to close something and yeah. nobody else has access to that one. Sometimes the, bag, the, the baggage just can't have yeah. that look. Yeah, that is true. The yeah. baggage, the luggage they have, something yeah. like that. Good. Symbol, and let's see. Uh, so uh, what he's saying here is that uh, uh, on safe, on safe websites, you always will see a padlock there in the address bar. So if you see that padlock, that means that everything is fine. You can enter your credit card information. And then it says, um, credit cards offer protection for identity theft. What is identity theft? Someone who is looking for the identity or someone else to uh, take his money or uh, property. Very good. It's an event of fraud. Very good. Yeah, it's a kind of fraud that uh, they do for you to, I mean, when they try to uh, save or, or steal your identity, it's like that one. Uh, they try to get all your information. So they use that information to pay, to buy things online. And so that's why it's kind of dangerous, this kind of things. So. Uh, and what it says here is that it's better to use credit cards and not debit cards. Why? Because the credit cards, almost always, they have a protection against this one. If something happens to your credit card, you can go to the bank, explain the situation, and they will help you out. But with a debit card, they are going to steal your money, and the bank is going to say, well, I'm sorry, my friend. So that is the difference, okay? Do you in have any questions? Go ahead. No, nothing, don't worry. Okay. So uh, do you have any questions about the conversation? Okay, so it says, look at the conversation about and rewrite the sentence below. A friend tells me there is this excellent deal online. Aha. Uh -huh. How is going to be that in reported speech? A friend tells me that there was this excellent deal online. Very good. A friend told me that there was, maybe in this case is that, that excellent deal online. But that was perfect. Very good. Number two, a friend says you have to make sure that the site is secure. So it's going to be that. Uh -huh. A friend says you do have to make sure that it's the site is secure. Okay. A friend say that you uh what is that for you? Had to make. Had to make sure. Had Very to good. Make sure. Uh maybe it's something better if you say a friend said that I had to make sure because he told me right and you need to change the the subject that is the only one the, the rest was perfect good number three says experts say credit card offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't how is going to be that i didn't get it when you said that the subject has to change in the sentences too uh which one the number two uh, yeah, because a friend says you, so you have to. In that case, we can we can change. It's not something that you have to. We can change the the subject depending on the situation. 
So if he told me, then you can say, I have to, I had to. That is the only thing. Okay. So number three, how's it gonna be? Experts say the credit cards offer the protection from identity thief, the debit cards don't. Very good, that is it, perfect. Nice, so we're going to do the little pause and we're going to check the attendance, my friends. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Okay, don't worry. Be careful. Perfect. Thank you, Carla. Uh, Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here. Good. Ophelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Ma? Osmin Baires Solorzano. Oh. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. <laughs> Okay. Rosa Elena Salgado Rosa. de Serrano. Okay. No, me venía. Eh, Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. I'm here, teacher. Good. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. And Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltran. Present. Very good. So we're going to continue. This time is going to be with a little reading. So five types of e-commerce fraud you need to know about. Learn more about the main types of e-commerce fraud you should care about and how they affect your business. So I'm going to start with the first part and then you are going to start with the other one. It says, by 2023, e-commerce is expected to account for 2020, uh, 22% of all retail sales, a 7.9% jump from 2019. Wilfredo, could you please continue? Okay. And um, second. Yeah, please. That's? At first glance. Ah, okay, okay. At first glance, this may not seem like a drums increase. However, when you look at the years, every year's trends since 2015, you'll not notice that notice. following, notice, ah, okay. Notice that following the, the pandemic, e-commerce sales are expert to continue to, to thrive, thrive, mm -hmm. thrive signi significantly. Very good, perfect. So it says at first glance, do you know what is that? At first glance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody? What is that at first glance? Like a big event? Like a big event, it might be. So this is like uh, at first, when, when you first see the numbers, right? The first look that you see, you say, ah, it's no big deal. Actually it says that at first glance, this might not seem like a dramatic increase. However, 
when you look at a year over year trends. So you check about how has been changing on the years since 2015, you'll notice that following the pandemic, e-commerce sales are expected to continue to thrive significantly. What is thrive? So it's going to... when, when, when something is growing, growing maybe. That is it. When something yeah. is growing. Very good. So it says that's the beauty of e-commerce platform. Despite times of crisis, businesses can still thrive. And that is true. So even in a crisis of the pandemic, a lot of people, they were buying things online, right? Sometimes things that not necessary, but we want them. So. Uh, let's see, uh, Michelle, could you please read the other two paragraphs? Okay, well, that's the beauty of the e-commerce platforms. Despite times of crisis, businesses can still thrive. All the same time, this increase in e-commerce transactions bring another problem, e-commerce fraud. There are five common types of fraud that retailers should be on the Look, look out for card testing, account takeover, interception, charge bags, and refund fraud. Very good. So this is what we are going to check today. It's going to be card testing, account takeover, interception, charge bags, and refund fraud. So how e-commerce fraud affects businesses? Let's see, Rose, could you please read this? Well, this term e-commerce fraud is fairly self-explanatory. The reality is that it covers a wide range of tactics used by fraudsters to target e-commerce merchants. Generally brick and mortar stores are not strangers to fraud, but e-commerce platforms have created a whole new world of opportunities for fraudsters to take advantage of. The stores and merchants also offers accounts to customers for a wide variety of reasons, ranking from rewards programs to the com convenience of saving payment information. These accounts are another avenue for fraudsters to take advantage of. Should they gain access to honest customers' account information? Very good. So this is like the introduction, right? Why this term e-commerce fraud is fairly self-explanatory. What is self-explanatory? Do you understand that word? Self-explanatory. It is plain by itself. <laughs> yeah, it is plain by itself. So you see the title and you know what it's about, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So the reality is that it covers a wide range of tactics used by fraudsters to target e-commerce merchants. General brick and mortar, to remember that, what is brick and mortar? Do you remember what is that? Brick and mortar. What is yes, that? I was reading that and the in the exercise I I look at and in order are, um, oh, oh, let me see, a traditional business that deals with customers face-to-face -face in an it. office or a store. I was looking to me. That is a brick and mortar. So there are like physical stores where you have people there in the store, right? So are not strangers to fraud. So that happens to physical stores. But e-commerce platform have created a whole new world of opportunity for fraudsters to take advantage of. Stores and merchants are also for accounts to customers with a wide variety of reasons. What is wide? Do you remember? What is wide? Like it's knowledge. Like knowledge. The wide is, oh my God, this. <laughs> Oh my God, yeah. narrow is this, why is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good example, nice. Yes. So narrow and wide, right? It's so not it's narrow. like a band. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
Yeah, very good. So it's talking about that it's big, right? There are many, something like that in this situation. But wide is like wide and narrow, as you say. So for a wide variety of reasons, ranging from rewards programs to the convenience of saving payment information, these accounts are another uh, avenue for fraudsters to take advantage of should they gain access to honest customers' account information. So the next one is going to be for uh, Jasmine. E-commerce fraud type. As previously mentioned, the nature of the e-commerce transaction presents many opportunities for browsers to target e-commerce vendors and merchants. Here are some of the most common ways browsers can target e-commerce vendors and merchants. Very good, perfect. So this is another introduction. As previously mentioned, the nature of e-commerce transaction presents many opportunities for fraudsters to target e-commerce vendors and merchants. Here are some of the most common ways fraudsters tend to target e-commerce vendors and merchants. So the next one is going to be for Ospin. It's a Car testing fraud. With car testing fraud, the rapture illegal, illegally um, obtain one or use me have problem my my phone to check. I don't worry. Excuse me. No, 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 no. It's, it's possible later. Okay, don't worry. So we're going to check with somebody else's. Uh, let's see. Carla, could you please read this one? Okay. Car testing fraud. With the car testing fraud, the fraudster illegally obtain one or more credit card numbers. Typically, fraudster will obtain this number by stealing that directly or purchasing the front certain part of the internet. Cars testing fraud starts at a smaller. The further will attend a smaller portion with each card number to figure or which one are valid without drawing too much attention to, te to ten self. A smaller portion also helps determine the limit on each of the credit cards. After initial testing, fraudes can begin making language purchase. By the time many merchants discover that they have been the target of card testing fraud, the fraudster has likely had the time to make several large purchases. Very good, perfect. So this is card testing fraud. So with card testing fraud, the fraudster illegally obtains one or more credit card numbers. So that happens in many ways. And if you or somebody goes into the deep web, you will be able to find even websites that they sell the credit card numbers, right? Typically, the fraudster will obtain these numbers by stealing them directly or purchasing them from certain parts of the internet. Card testing fraud starts out smaller. So this is very interesting. You see here that they start for, first of all, getting the card numbers. Then they try to purchase things that are not very expensive to test if the cars works, if the numbers works. And then when they test that one, then they purchase big things. And then you realize like, oh my goodness, I didn't purchase this. What's going on here? And you call the bank and the bank says, I don't know. So it's, it's a big problem. Have you ever heard something like that here in El Salvador? Have you ever happened something like that for you or one of your friends? That somebody steals your credit card? Yes, I, I listen in some friend, some friend histories about this. They get the numbers of the, the cards and make a throw. No good, right? Yeah, but, no. 
by any chance, do you know where the car numbers were stolen? Where? Oh, uh, they mentioned restaurants. Mm, restaurants. Uh, and I say, oh my God, because there are prestige restaurants. And I say, oh, but also many years ago, my, my sister have a, a pro like this, but I'm talking about many years ago when this kind of uh, this kind of cybernetic uh, uh, fraud. Fraud. Uh, the recent uh, on both. Um, can I say on both? <laughs> uh huh. Or they yeah. were not common. Yeah, they're no. They is not with common. My sister in a gas station. Uh, Somebody put, took, took the number and make a transaction. Yeah. Hey, my, and that is mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the problem, right? So you believe that in the restaurants, in the gas station, everything is fine. Yeah. But you never know. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Good. So the next one it says account takeover fraud. So this one, the first part until the user is going to be for Ada Patricia. Uh, accountant takeover fraud. Mm -hmm. Founders have a variety of methods they can use to gain access to customer accord, purchasing a stolen password and security code, obtaining customer info from the web, and implementing phishing chains are just some of the tactics at Frauder's disposal. Once the account has been taken over, Frauder's have free regain to do whatever they want include, shaking account details, making purchase, will driving funds if this functionally is present, Accessing other account over by the user. Okay, let's stop there. Thank you. So what do you understand on this one? Account takeover fraud. What do you get in this one? Okay, so this is like people that steals the account numbers and the passwords, right? So it's not credit card, but account number. And how they, they do that one. So there are many ways. That's why, for example, they try to get your email, for example. They try to get access to your email and hack your email because sometimes you create an account, a bank online account, and of course you have an email and a password for that one. So in that way, they can take advantage of that one. So it's not good, right? What they do when they get that information, they change account details. So for example, they change the password and you are not able to enter to your account. And you say, what the heck happened here, right? And of course, after they do that one, they, they make some purchases, they withdraw, funds they get the money out from the bank and uh, they start checking if there are other accounts other kinds of information linked to that information so i mean hackers they are very smart hey, ophelia could you please read here this one make no mistake this one yeah uh, mike was misguided i continue i think over proud is from us identifies the there's a customer I host have I be I the victim of a county a death over probably I might never a uh, choose I the providing I bring many customer relation chicks I be this I think this is not a destroyer. I this mark, I continue 
I don't know her from one of the most uh, detriment famous of I commence from the I does exit. Okay, what do you understand on this one, Ophelia? Uh, uh, this is a, 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 a comes in fraud and a company and target the credit or password. The company, company. Okay, so yes, uh, what it says here is that if that happens to you, you don't trust in that company anymore, right? If you have a, a bank account and then you see that your money disappears, of course, you're going to believe that the bank has a problem. So that affects businesses. Here in El Salvador, I have heard a lot of information about Agricola's bank, that they have some problems like that. I don't know what happened. The, the last quarterly, uh, the, the last year teacher, in the Agricola Bank had a lot of cases of the fraud because the system um, had uh, a lot of, uh, if you say, uh, weakness, with, with debilidades. Or, weaknesses. Uh -huh. Weaknesses, weaknesses for uh, security. Uh, I had experience with my uh, co-worker that he, he was uh, doing the, to sell uh, in, for Facebook in market, free market. And one, one person, contact him, contacted him, and this, the, the, how do you say, the environment it was credible because when, in the moment the pay, uh, the, how do you say, false client, uh, client uh, put the music of the bank, the lady asked, about the account bank inclusive the call the the access for the personal uh, the personal number for yes the call the personal for access the the personal account bank and in only for a few minutes uh, the fraud, how do you say the fraudadores, frauders, fraud, fraudsters, fraudsters uh, did a, a lot of transaction for move the, the money of the account in the other account. And when my co workers uh, put it's right the put, poner the claim. Yes, set a claim or submit a claim. Si, submit the claim. The bank say, ah, I'm sorry, but we have a lot of cases similar. Similar uh, is necessary the, the you, um, you go to the police and the, the police say, Hey, oh, no problem. A lot of people, uh, we have the similar claims, but it was in the last quarter, the la in the last year, in the specific, uh, the Agricola Bank. And the bank, uh, how do you say? Circuló, sí, eh, cir uh, circuló. So the, the information, made public the information. Muy about the, 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 but the responsible in this case, 
uh, transfer to the users. It might. Yes. You, yeah, I was going to ask you, and your friend did recover the money back? Yes, but uh, the time for recover, uh, one year after this, the event, yes. Yeah, he, because he had um, insurance for this case. I see. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a big problem. I mean, people are very smart. In my in that situation, that somebody calls you and has the music and the code and everything is very well prepared, right? Of course. No, it's, it, but it's the structure the structure for the fraud is complete because in in that case the false client he he, he was a foreign and he was in, in english you know, try to to speak in spanish and he said to my co-worker um in my bank need information about your account because uh, for um, complete the, the pay, the payment, uh -huh. complete the payment, we need specific information in, I, in my co-worker, auditor teacher. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but it, it, no, it was, but uh, no, it's bad experience. In, in general, or for example, for the emails, when ah, your bank need um, update information about your um, personal information, your call, 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 or it's impossible that, in, that the bank required that information through email. That is true, I mean, Mm -hmm. Those people are very, very smart. Yeah, I, I don't know how they do plan everything, but yeah, they're very smart and we need to be very careful, definitely. Because, I mean, if they are asking for your bank account number and the password, I mean, that's not good, right? Not good at all. Okay, interception, a fraud. Okay, this is going to be for, let's see. Wendy. Okay. Interception fraud. With interception fraud, the fraudster purchase goods for your e commerce website using a stolen credit card, but about avoid sorting cheek checks by proving legitimate, matching shipping and um, billing addresses. Upon placing the order, the goal is to intercept the package before it gets, gets to the address provided. 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 Provide. There are three common tactics that Crowdster can use to do this. One, if they know the victim and lie close by the cam simple steal the package from the drop off location. Two, contacting customer service representative for your company to change the shipping address before the item is ready to be shipping. And three, contacting the shipping company themselves to reroute, reroute. reroute the package to a destination of their choice. Good. What did you understand on this one, Wendy? Okay. Maybe is when um, you need a check, the, the site is legitimate or is uh, real. 
for example, uh, when you, uh, maybe I, I, I don't know it's correct, but um, maybe when, uh, you can, um, May uh, you can uh, catch when is the fraud because the the information is not le legitimate 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 um uh, maybe you can uh, contact the the official website. And maybe you can, um, how do you say, evitar? Avoid. Avoid the fraud for you. I don't know. <laughs> okay, perfect, thank you. Yeah, actually this one is uh, very common. It's when the, somebody steals your information from the credit card and they call, they call to the store and they provide the information from the credit card and they provide your billing information and shipping information. So when you, when the person there in the, in the company, they verify that the address is correct and everything is fine. They say, okay, we're going to place the order for you. And then send the package to your address, but you don't know anything, right? And what they do is they try to intercept the package before it, it gets into your place. So this is very common as well. So, so in the case teacher, when the transaction, the commercial transaction is, is doing in the other, other country. It's very good. Yeah, that, that mm -hmm. happens a lot. Yeah. I mean, sometimes bank, at least in the US, what they do is they block some transactions that are online just to be sure, right? Because they can be paying a lot of money. They prefer that the, if you uh, if you are placing an order online and if your information, they prefer that you are angry with the bank saying, why my car has this problem? I have money in my car and whatever, than being paying for frauds. Okay, the first part of this one until credit card is going to be for uh, Walter Morales. Okay, people. Uh, Chandler McBrown. Chargeback. Charles McBrown, okay. <clears throat> and Charles McBrown is when a customer purchases a product or service before a contact, contact and the credit or company and buy the purchase of the person in a chargeback, a chargeback McBrown. Uh, in a case because he could receive from a uh, legacy and purchases not and not being on the company side recognized recognized by the customer by the customer uh, by the customer and this uh, particular case is often the Italian and Freddy Frau and Freddy Frau is no less uh determinate to comments and merchants so because still have a negative impact on both a business and the customer and relations some from international coming a change back and probably and I this in a company police the gary the gary for with Norway, the purchase will perform uh, the to the credit card. A change about the cost of company uh, based in multiple ways, including a change about fit, loss, emergency, and cheap costs, a uh, penalty, penalty and harmonistic cost, a biking, biking fines. Fines. Very good. So 
Uh, yes, this is something very interesting. What did you understand on this one, uh, Walter? Okay, uh, well, check in the box, well, these are the information, the personal, uh, because it's a, a knowledge to me, the, the recognition, recognize the, often the talent, the company. Okay. Uh, yes, actually, this is something that is very common. It's a little bit different from the other one, but happens a lot. This is when uh, when you or when somebody purchase something and they say, I didn't receive my package. Oh. So they send back another package. Uh, sometimes they resend. And so you have shipping costs, penalties. There are many things that the companies pay for in this kind of situation because the people, they take advantage of the policies of the company. So as you remember, when we're talking about logistics, this might be the big problem with the returns, right? Or things like that. So that happens, that happens a lot. The last one, uh, refund fraud. This is going to be for, let's see, Guadalupe. Refund fraud. Uh, with refund fraud, a fraudster purchases a product or service using a stolen credit card and then has it refunded onto the credit card. One of the most common tactics used in informing the merchant that the refund will need to be processed on a new credit card because the old ones has been closed. Reform fraud is, is stressful for an e-commerce merchant. To, the, to deal with it can be difficult to decipher which clients are legitimate and which ones are frauded leaving your relationship with your customer and view party jeopardy jeopardy very good so what did you understand on this one <sighs> maybe the the Any person uh, use the 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 credit card stolen? Mm, it's not that they use the credit card. Um, this is something that is is very interesting. You know, people these people are very smart. So this is like how can I explain? Uh, sorry, teacher. I was remember. I understand that. Okay. In that way, um, a friend of my. Uh, Two months ago, I uh, have a problem like this. Uh, they, how do you say, clonar? Clone. Yeah. Uh, it was, I was talking about in a restaurant, they cloned the car and stole all the money. He made to the claim to the bank and he took it. it the, the process, it will took about 15 days uh, <laughs> while, while the bank investigate if was a legal uh, fraud, le legitimate uh, operation. And in, I think that is the bank decide that it wasn't legitimate. You lost your money. That's the way that he say that uh, the relationship with customers is jeopardy. Jeopardy, I think that is something risk, risk. Exactly, a risk. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's refund from me. I think sometimes I have, I have my personal doubts and I say, mm, 
I don't believe that the banks response in 100%. They have to, I think that they have to make a, a special uh, investigation. Also, if our um, higher uh, amounts of money. Yeah, actually that is true. I mean, um, they don't respond for everything. That depends on many situations. Uh, but if you, I mean, if you were in other places and you can prove that one, I mean, they are going to respond. This kind of refund fraud is kind of strange. This is like this. In mind that Michelle purchased something online. Okay, she purchased a package. And somebody else's and knows that she purchased that one. So the other person calls the company and that person says, I didn't receive my package. I want my money back. Give me my money back. And then the company says, okay, we're going to give you your money back. And the other person says, okay, but the money has to be refunded to a different credit card because I don't have that credit card anymore. So then the funds go to that person's car instead of Michelle. And Michelle, she didn't do anything. So that's something that is uh, aimed to the companies itself. So it's something like that. Um, we're going to try to check at least some of those. Okay. So these are tips for safe online shopping. Uh, we're going to go straight to the tips because it's important. Okay, this is the first one. Use familiar websites. What do you understand on this one, everybody? Common websites to buy, for example, Amazon or eBay. Very good. So you need to go to websites that you know that you can trust in them, right? So that is like the first tip. So if you go to a store that has prices that are very low, but you're not sure, you need to think about it, right? Uh, of course, there is an explanation, but we're not gonna check on that one. Look for the lock. This is the lock pad. Do you remember that we were talking about in the conversation, a it's, lock pad. So this like is the lock the, pad. It's like the accounts on Instagram, on Facebook or Twitter that they, they need, they, they suggest that you look the check the verification check and that way the the count the account is is true is is true so truthfully can i say trust trustly uh -huh. yeah so yeah definitely this one uh, yes. is very important when you look for the luck i mean if it's if the website is about purchasing things they have to have that one they have to you know what the problem is that sometimes we were speaking on the first one that you can go and purchase for websites that you are familiar with. But sometimes hackers, they clone the website. I mean, they are very smart. They clone the website and then send you a link. And when you click on the link, you see Amazon and many other things and you see pricings, but it's, 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 it's not it's the fake. real one. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, yes. but it, those websites that are clones, never going to have, they never will have the padlock. They never have this lock on the address bar. So that is for sure. So we need to look for that one. That is the second tip. Okay, uh, the next one says, don't overshare. What do you understand on this? Here is the explanation. Maybe we need to read about this one. So Mayra, could yeah. you please read this? Not only shopping e tailor needs your social security number or your birthday to do business. However, if crooks get them and your credit card number, they can do a lot of damage. The more is camer now, the easier it is to steal your identity. When possible, default to giving up a little personal data as possible. May your site get breached, 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 breached all the time. Very good. So when we're talking about, what do you understand on this, Humayri? Uh, on Don Overshare, what do you understand that? I understood that we don't have to share personal information, for example, uh, 
or birthday or secret questions uh, in in a web page uh, that is not secure. Very good. So that is it. Don't overshare is that, I mean, when you are going to purchase online, uh, they might ask you a few questions, but not uh, your credit card number with the uh, three numbers on the back, the security numbers and the expiration. I mean, that is too much. If uh, that, I mean, they can steal that information, definitely. So it's, it's not good at all. And uh, I mean, some people, um, do you remember that here in El Salvador, there were time, there was time when some people, they were calling you and they were saying, hey, I am from the United States and I need this kind of money so I can send you this package or anything like that, or I need your help. So people are very smart. They will research about you and they will tell you the things that you need to hear so you can share your information. So this is a very good tip, not tell personal information. Blur yourself online. What do you understand on this one? Let's read about that one. They, these are very small, okay? Uh, Wilfredo, could you please read this one? Not here. Pamela, could you please read this one? Not here. It is with Wilfredo. Zulma. Hello? Ah, okay, uh, Pamela. Go ahead. Excuse me, teacher. I'm here. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Wilfredo is going to read this one. Please go ahead, Wilfredo. A bind? A bind. Uh -huh. Okay. A bind blur, blur is a browse add, add on that acts as a basic password manager and and, uh, and also much more for um, 30, 39 dollars a year. It let you shop without revealing anything about your actual self, no emails, phone numbers, or even credit card numbers. It's one of the most in, impressive online privacy solution well, we've ever seen read your full review. Okay, very good. So as you see here, this is a, a website, Blur. So this is a website that allows you to purchase online without providing your personal, so personal information. Actually, it's going to provide you with passwords that are going to be very strong and hackers won't be able to hack you. Um, of course, there is a price, $39 a year. Maybe it's only if you are going to do a lot of transactions online. But other than that, I mean, it's a, it's a good thing. I mean, there are tools for you to be secure whenever you are purchasing online. Okay, create strong passwords. What do you understand on this one? This is very clear, I guess. Um, or, or password have to be uh, strong, not easy likes or names or birthday. Uh, my birthday, my son's birthday, there are many, many ways that hackers or also uh, people can, uh, uh, can obtain or, or password need to be strong, like a NASA, <laughs> yeah. like a NASA key, keyword, <laughs> oh my God. Is required to compliance the, the specific rules. Uh, for example, the number of characters, the type of characters, inclusive the, the practice to change regularly your password. Um, and it's important for, for avoid um, the fraud because when the password is easy, the, the, the problem with the fraud is that the, how do you say the, the, the fraudadores teacher, the, the name is fraud, fraudsters. Mm -hmm. They are very smart people. That is true. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. So it, it should be strong. And nowadays, I mean, the most of the websites, they require searching characters, right? As Anna Selmy was saying, it's not only, I mean, in the past, I mean, probably you have your son's name there in there as a password, but nowadays it's not possible, right? Uh, it's not like the password of English Corporativo, one, two, three, four, five. So that is going to be something different. Teacher, but yeah. our uh, website, uh, you can't uh, create the account when you don't, uh, when you don't create a, a new, when, when the password is not security. For example, uh, the, our website don't, you can continue the create account when your password is not strong. That is true. So that is because of safety, right? The companies now, they are very focused on this one because frauds now are very common. So that is true. Okay, check statements regularly. What do you understand on this one? <laughs> Be careful with those animals. Anybody here? What do you understand? On? Check the Lo de mayo. There's some popos. I don't know how to say that in English. I guess there is no word for that. <laughs> yes, it's important to review regularly the the old translation that uh, record in your statement correspond that your real translation uh, you did. Uh, that is it, right? Because mm -hmm. when uh, we identified any, uh, you say, irregular or unusual, Translation is important to report to the bank. So that is true. So if you are checking that one, you will be on time to avoid something more problematic. So it's very for example, important. Now, uh, sorry. Yeah. No, sorry. No, <laughs> now, no, for, example, <laughs> for example, nowadays, uh, some banks, I think the, the most, but for example, Bank of Kotlan have a, a they, they send you a message when you when you make a transaction. It's yes. immediately, immediately. I notifications. Would, I, yeah, notifications mm -hmm. by mail and by message. And you say, ah, that's okay, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> but if you are at war and it's, I send you a message, uh, you have a, <laughs> a job about money and you say, oh my God, it's in me. <laughs> That is so true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a very good practice, definitely. The next one says inoculate your computer. What do you understand on this one? I think it's relation with the information you save in your machine. That is true. Yeah. I mean, in your phones, too. Yeah, all the devices. So you need to, for first of all, be careful about what you save. And second one, you need to be careful about uh, having viruses and things like that, to click on many things. And sometimes you need to clean the computer, meaning that you need to uninstall things that you believe that are not good. Privatize your Wi-Fi. Well, here is not that common, but in the US, it's very common that hackers hack your device through the Wi-Fi. So. Here, maybe the problem is that we don't have good Wi-Fi outside, right, in, in other space. Avoid shopping in public. Um, I guess this is very basic, right? If you are dating Metro Centro and get your car and you are showing the car to everybody, that is not a good idea. Uh, think mobile. So this is like, think that everything is going to be connected. So you shouldn't. You have to be careful about that kind of situation. So because nowadays everything is connected, and even this one, uh, well, skip the car, use the phone. Uh, well, now is very common this one, but also it's very dangerous. So we need to be careful on this. Okay, we ran out of time, but of course we're going to check the attendance before we finish. Before we finish, actually, is there any question?
clearas horchata, as usual. Very good. So we are going to check the attendance and we will finish the class of today. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present, teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Jasmine, for you is the one on one today, so please stay. Okay, Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Odorzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. I'm here teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Morina Duarte. Present Will teacher. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltran. Present. Good. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you today. Tomorrow is Friday. Nice. Uh, have a good night. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Okay. Hey, good night. You. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. My friend. Good night. 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 Okay, hello, Jasmine. How are you? Um, I would like to be better, but today I eat um, not healthy food, junk food, and I feel like a little bad. Oh, but I'm sorry. So yeah. And what about you? Well, I'm surviving here, you know. Um, I nice. You work from home too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, from home. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Interesting. Where do you work? I work. Then I'll take in calls about hotels. Ah, okay. Hotels. Yeah. Okay, interesting. It's very interesting. That is nice. That is nice. And yeah. uh, so, and you take calls in English or in Spanish? Um, I take calls in Spanish and I have to call sometimes to hotels that are in English or they speak English as me because they are sometimes for French or for another country and they, but we know the vocabulary. It's not like, um, it's, it's, um, it's not difficult to laugh because when you are talking with the hotels because you know the vocabulary. We're not talking about other things that we have not vocabulary just the hotels. And that's very easy. Oh, very interesting. That is nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the good thing is that you're practicing, right? So you're practicing English with somebody else. So that is nice. Yes. You say, hello, my name is Jasmine. Can you help me? <laughs> something. No. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So um, I, I know you have experience on this one-on-ones already. 
So the first question is, how do you feel? I know that we just started the class, but how do you feel that we are moving on in the class? Um, I like it. Um, I would like to participate more, but I think that other has to participate too. Okay. And, um, I read this topic really like me. I some I have give some um, like presentation when I was in the high school about this. Twice. In my and that is good. Yes, I really like it. It's very dangerous. That's about the identity ties because they can use a little thing. For example, I remember that if you create your password, you have to use like, um, I don't remember how to say it in English or in Spanish, I'm sorry. Um, mayúscula, minúscula, números y símbolos. Yeah. If you use this, um, that bad people not can um, get your information easily. That take like 10 years. But if you use just numbers, they can get it in hours. That's information. That is true. I mean, there are people that are very smart, but they do things that are not good, right? So <laughs> that is interesting how you are very smart and you can get a very good job. But instead of that one, you do something else. <laughs> because it's like uh, more easier for, it's easier for them. I guess yeah. that is the thing that some people, they need, they want something in the easy way, uh, but it's not always good, right? So at the end, probably you're going to have some problems. They can go to the hell and that's not good for anyone. Not good. Yeah, that is not good at all. Okay, very good. So I'm very happy that you are happy about the topic. The, um, and yeah, I mean, sometimes I ask and if, if nobody else says something, you can participate, okay? This is for practice. Some people sometimes they are still afraid of speaking, but if you are not afraid and you want to practice, go for it, okay? And okay. also, go ahead, I'm sorry. I was about to say that if I have the camera off, it's because I am in a call. In this okay. moment, I have uh, 33 minutes without a call. Oh, in the night, good. yes. In the night, I sometimes I have like 40 minutes or one hour. But as I can have an hour without a call, I can have a call back to back. Oh, that is interesting. So, and what is your schedule like? Mm, what about that? So, what what time do you start? What time do you finish? Ah, uh, my shift is 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. Oh my goodness, so and you sleep, let's say in the morning, so you um, can work. Yes, um, in the morning I have to wake up at six because I have to wake up my family and with my couple, we wake up our son and we have to take him to the kindergarten. And after that, we go to the gym. And then to the gym, I went to home again and I sleep like four hours or three. It's very heavy, but it's nice if you like it. Yeah. Okay, good. Perfect. So it was a pleasure to, to be with you tonight. If you have questions, remember that you can do it in the class. Also, you can chat in the group. And also, you can chat with me directly. If you have a question or anything, just chat with me and it will be a pleasure, okay? Okay, that sounds fine. Perfect. By now, any other thing that I can help you with? Any questions that you might have? Uh, maybe I will have because I sometimes I don't understand by what the homework because the homework that you showed that yesterday I did it the same day that we have the first class. Ah, okay, very and good. And I was thinking that okay, we will do the homework after the class or after two days of the class. That is that I don't understand very well. Okay, very well. So yeah, yeah. If you have questions about that one, sometimes there are some problems on the platform, but you can ask. Okay. Okay, I will ask you. Perfect. So it was a pleasure. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm, bye. Well. Bye. See you so tomorrow. You. Mm -hmm, bye bye.